What's up, girly? Welcome back to my channel. Whew, I'm not even sure I can do this. I said all these things in my head and like planned this out and now I turn on the camera and I literally don't know what to say so I'm just going to blurt it out. Today is going to be a really sad day. It's easy for me to lie on TikTok and not show fully what's going on on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, but I can't lie to you about it because it's a lot harder. Especially because here, after today, I'll be vlogging a lot more often and able to post on YouTube a lot more often. I've hinted at it just a little bit, but I put in my two weeks, you know, two weeks ago today at my job. So today is my last day working in childcare. I really have to get going because it's already time for me to leave and don't want to be super late on my last day. But I put all my kids, all my kids Christmas gifts together because it's my last day and we're having our Christmas party and... My anxiety is like really bad, I don't know why, I'm just really nervous and I knew I needed to go ahead and start this YouTube vlog and I'll be able to explain more on why I made this choice after work, but I think I just need to get going and I don't want to cry yet because I've already had like 17 breakdowns. But if you're new here, my name is Michael, my favorite color is pink, I love shopping, that's like my favorite hobby and I love vlogging, that's also my favorite hobby. Here soon I'm going to be redoing my entire house. I kind of want to go from like a total maximalist to somewhat a minimalist. I'm also a pre-k teacher or today is my last day being a pre-k teacher and I've been teaching kids for over four years and before that I taught kids for like a year so really like five years all together but I'm already running late. Real quick I just wanted to show you all the gifts that I had gotten for the kids so if you want to see what's in it you're really just going to look on TikTok or maybe I'll get a second like if there's no kids in the classroom to show you real fast. I'm also taking a tripod in case I want to I want to record a video for TikTok like gathering all my stuff because you know I got a lot of cute things at work but I'm not ready to tell TikTok and we'll just talk about that in a second I really need to get going. What's up really I just got to work and I walked straight downstairs let me turn on these little lights I got all the Christmas gifts. I don't know if I should put it in the closet for now so it's not like in their faces. I walked straight downstairs so I haven't even said like good morning to no one. I'm gonna run upstairs real quick and go potty before kids come and then decide what to do with all that stuff. So my kids are asleep but I just finished setting up for the Christmas party and clearing off my desk. I just want to show you real quick. Hopefully this music is like okay for YouTube but this is all my stuff in that juicy bag plus my work purse has some stuff. These are a couple gifts I got today. How cute. These ones are even cuter. It's like a little bath soap and a little crystally thing. And then this is a bunch of like Starbucks items, like a pink Starbucks cup. Some pictures that my kids colored for me and my desk is all cleared off. The only thing that I tried to do but I couldn't get off was these stickers. So you all are on your own. Sorry. Here's the party set up. It looks really cute. So they have like tons of snacks because we already had a ton. And then some of the parents like brought more so there was a ton, a ton, plus I got some balloons, plus these streamers. I try not to show any kids who are asleep, but then I got their presents ready to go. We're also doing a book exchange, so we have all these books to exchange. But I'm really excited for this, and I just filmed, you can see my tripod over there. I just filmed a TikTok setting up for the Christmas party, and then I filmed one, I have to duck under these. And then I filmed one um, clearing all my stuff out, so. I don't know when I'll post that because I'll tell you a bit more later on why I'm not, where's the good lighting, on why I'm not ready to tell TikTok, but I'm holding in all my emotions. Well, I thought I was going to be able to hold it until I got to the car, but I was not. I cried in front of everyone. I hope my lips aren't too crusty. Like, this hurts more than my last breakup. I don't even know what to say. There were so many reasons. It's awkward crying on camera. I hope I didn't make a mistake. Things have been so hard since like August and half my kids left. Pretty self-explanatory. I started taking off on social media. Everything I do pays the bills. I used to get so angry. I was a teacher for over four years. It's not for the week. Fully hit me until I got home. What am I supposed to do with the rest of my life now? I do have a lot of plans. Sorry, this is gross. I'm an ugly crier. The reason I don't want to tell anyone to come across as just another person started making money online I wanted to quit for so long I just never thought that it would hurt so bad whenever I finally got to leave every day I was yelling losing my patience if everyone can understand it I hope you understand why I had to put all this in the video because I feel like we're closer than that why not tell TikTok for a while I don't want to tell them for a while I haven't even told my family and I don't want to and if you're my family or you're so close to me and you watch this like please just let me show 
myself in the world for a little bit that I can do this. I'm not going to change like at all and this hurts me. I wish that they could be my kid. <laughs> it's just so weird. Every time I got an interaction, any type of interaction was at work and most of the time it was with kids. And now I have nothing. Between me and you and my cat. Yeah, my two fish. I'm not worried about income. I'm not worried about making money. I know I can make money. I know I can probably make more money now that I can focus eight, nine, ten plus hours a day. It's just the leaving and the change. All the fears for the future. I'm telling myself that anything that I fear can't come true. I have to do great. Cat, stop! <laughs> That's funny, but it's not funny. I'm trying not to ruin my mascara. Might be a little bit too late, but. At least I somewhat still have lashes. I'm gonna try to calm down in the best way I can. And I actually have a TikTok I can edit. So I'm going to SMOK. And I'm going to edit a TikTok. Because I recorded, like, my Christmas. Cat, stop! Hey! I, record, I recorded my Christmas party and, like, my kids opening their gifts. And I also recorded packing up all my stuff. I'm not posting that yet. I'll post that whenever I'm ready to tell TikTok. So, if you love me, please just don't... I mean, you can comment about it on this YouTube video. Just don't go on TikTok and comment about how I don't work in childcare anymore. Or any of the other social medias. As much as I didn't want it to be like a big part of who I was because I like didn't want that. Like I stopped posting my going to work vlogs on TikTok because I didn't want people, I didn't want the pressure of being a teacher because I knew that's not what I wanted to do full time. But it was still such a big part of me. Does anyone else get really thirsty after they cry? Like I, okay I've calmed down for a second but I am a dying of thirst. Like, I need to chug some of this water real quick. I tried to fix my makeup a bit. I just, like, wiped under my eyes. I tried to dab, not rub, and then separate my lashes again because they were all stuck together. I still haven't even SMOKED'd. I just actually pottied and then was really thirsty, so... Now I'm gonna go chill. Every now and then I get this pit like in me. Like my heart just sinks. It has to make sense one day. Came over here to you to record because I truly don't have anyone else. I'm just sad because I'll probably never see most of those kids ever again. Just want someone who loves me for me and supports everything I do. Let's clean up this face a bit. As if there's anything left to save. I've not been focused the whole time. Honestly, it's probably for the best. Try to separate these lashes. I just had to dream big. I'm heartbroken. I was just looking at like my daily planner, and this is why I broke down because I had like a full schedule, you know, for the last week, like for the last few weeks, like writing every single day. Just the most important stuff that happens. I looked at it for tomorrow to see what am I supposed to do. There's nothing. I don't have nothing written for tomorrow. Like why did I, I didn't even think that far ahead. I seriously just be winging it. Like I told my hairdresser that I like planned on quitting and she just asked what I planned on doing and I was like keep recording videos. And she was like oh well what are you going to have for dinner tonight? And I was like I, don't, I may not be the smartest person ever, but I'm a person. It'll probably be okay, but emotionally right now, I don't know what to do tomorrow. I, um, I guess there's like three things I could buy. Three more Christmas gifts I was thinking of, or like four for real. Maybe I'll go shopping. And... I don't know. I just need a day or a couple days to gather up the motivation again, but Sunday is Christmas Eve, so I'll be going to my mom's. This is crooked. I'll be going to my mom's Sunday and taking all my Christmas gifts, so that will be a fun distraction. I'll get to lie to everyone and act like us didn't quit my job. That's what I'll be doing. I'm glad I have you to cry to and talk to and hopefully if you're just trying to watch a good YouTube video, I'm not ruining your vibe. <laughs>
But, um, I don't know if I'll check in for the rest of the night. Probably not. I'll probably check in tomorrow. Looking a lot cuter. And... Yeah, I don't know. Here, if you cried, here's a tissue. What's up, girlies? It's the next morning. I am feeling a lot better. I did have one breakdown this morning, but I just did my makeup, so I'm feeling, like, really cute again. But I'm about to make some turkey bacon. My house is like a mess right now. Like some of my decorations are over there because this little island thing is just full of stuff. Like I'm, I'll clean up tomorrow, you know, a little Sunday reset or whatever. But I'm going to make some turkey bacon. I don't know what to make with it. I might just make a ton of turkey bacon. I need, I have a tripod for this. But I need like, a, I want a standing tripod for my camera. How's this angle? This is a little bit higher than I would like. But um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to, like, figure out where to put you. I'm about to just put you right here. And you're just going to watch me do, like, the turkey bacon. I don't freaking know. I need to figure out something. Oop, I'm zooming in. I need to figure out something for, like, whenever I just cook a meal so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to put my turkey bacon in the oven. So I got one pack that's already open, and then I got another one just in case it's not enough. Usually I would make, like, eggs or something like this. But I don't feel like doing that. I kind of want to put some of this stuff away real quick and just sit down while I put this in the oven. But I just finished shaving my legs and tell me why I noticed there's a crack in my bathtub. So I'll show you in a minute, but it's still like full of bubbles because I showered afterwards, but there's a crack in my tub and I'm like, I don't want water to get through that. Get all this stuff out the oven. I don't know where to put it, right here. Oh my God, I can't make this. I'm out of parchment paper. I just remembered I have no parchment paper. And this is dirty and I don't feel like washing it. This is the worst. I mean, I could make it on the stove. I could make it on the stove, but I don't even feel like that. That was the whole purpose of throwing it in the oven. Ugh. Okay, cut the camera. So instead I got chocolate covered strawberries. Breakfast of a champion, you know? I might grab a drink or something because I'm going to go shopping here in just a minute. I don't know where exactly I need to go. Let me think. I'm just going to find a nice shopping center and go to it because I want to get like two more gifts for people. I want to get one more thing for my mom and then one more thing for one of my online friends. I need some help. So I'm going to either wear this black top or I'm thinking this white top because I'm gonna get you a little bit lower. I'm wearing these skinny jeans right now, and I, let me just flip you around to the camera. I never wear skinny jeans, but I'm feeling like pretty cute in them right now. I mean, I don't look too thick or nothing, but I think that the belt's cute. But like white top or black top, white top looks kind of cute. I'm gonna try the white top on. I don't know, I like it, but I kind of wish my stomach wasn't hanging out so much, but I really just like kind of want to wear these jeans today, so. Let's see if I can find something that doesn't make my stomach look flabby. <laughs> so I think I'm going to just wear this, which, I don't know, looks kind of boring. A little bit different than something I would normally wear, but I'm feeling different. So this is what I'm going to wear. I don't even know exactly what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to head to Chick-fil-A because I got a Chick-fil-A gift card and I want to get to... Ew. I don't I hope you don't see, like, my flat butt. Is it flat? I don't know. I got a Chick-fil-A gift card, so I'm going to go use that, and then I'll just decide where to go from there. Okay, I switched that jacket for this one, because I just, like, I have so many cute tops that I could pick, but I don't know. I don't want to, like, dress too feminine and be all alone. I almost hate that. Like, I feel like whenever I used to be with someone, I didn't care so much, because, you know, I had a man there to protect me. I mean, a man who, like, didn't protect me in my own house, but... I don't know. I just think that this top is, like, cute and, like, it's comfortable for me. And I do want to wear these jeans. So this is the whole outfit of the day. Let's go to Chick-fil-A and decide where to go after that. I'm first going to put on a little bit of Marc Jacobs perfume. The Daisy Love Paradise. Just, like, two, three squirts of that. And then I'm going to do a lot of squirts of my Chance by Chanel perfume. Remember, I got it, like, in the last vlog I just posted, that's how much I already used it. I literally love this stuff. Try not to stain this white tank top. But, yeah, I really like to smell good. I'm always afraid, like, not afraid, but, like, I just think if I run into someone, like, I want them to think I smell good, I look cute, like, what do they want a picture, you never know. Tell me why I just check, like, the maps to see, like... Uh, how long it would take me to get to the Chick-fil-A because it's usually just like 10 minutes, but there's a lot of traffic So I was like, hmm 
30 minutes. 30 minutes to get to the Chick-fil-A 10 minutes away. So, I guess I'm just going to keep going because I'm already headed there. I got the gift card. I don't really have nothing else to do today. Why didn't I pee before I left the house? Because I already had to pee a little. I'm so mad at myself. But, um, I, I realized, like, when I was looking back editing my last video, I say, but, um, a lot. I just always, I always need a second to gather my thoughts. This light's finally green, but it's so backed up all the way into the next red light. And back to backed up. I'm just going to go, there's like a five below, almost in the same parking lot. It's like same area as the Chick-fil-A. So I'll probably go to that after. And my stepmom had like spontaneously invited me to breakfast on Christmas day. I was going to go to like several places, but if it's like this all over town, I ain't driving for hours. 30 minutes later, I'm in Chick-fil-A's drive-thru, which of course is crazy long. But I'm hoping, hoping because it's Chick-fil-A that they'll go by quickly. Um, I should have made different plans today. I should not have done this. I literally just want to go home. There's an Ota right here and a Five Below. I mean, I could go record a quick TikTok at the Five Below. I really don't want to be out here for too long. It's freaking crazy. Oh my gosh. I'm not doing anything today, tomorrow, or Christmas. Like, I... I'm not gonna be out here if all you are gonna be out here. It's like almost an hour later and I got my Chick-fil-A. I wanted to buy a perfume for my mom, but I wanted to buy her the, um, the Chanel one that I like. But I don't think Ota has Chanel. So maybe I'll find her something else. I'm gonna sit here for a minute and eat real quick before I go in. And there is people everywhere. Like, I should not have came on this busy day. So I just left Ota and Five Below. At Five Below, I didn't find much. I just found this little Britney Spears book, which I'm going to send to my friend Ryan. I think it's pretty iconic. It's Britney. It's got, like, all these cute pictures and stuff. I almost want to keep it for myself, but I'll probably send it to him because that's who I thought of whenever I first saw it. I also got for myself at Sephora, I mean Ota, I got this, how do you say that? Is it just O-U-I or Ooey <laughs> by Juicy Couture? And this is called Rosy Darling, so it sounds really good. I really love like rosy scents. And I got for my mom the Ariana Grande Pink Cloud because this is one of my favorites. And I wanted to get her the Chanel one or I was going to get her a Marc Jacobs one. I don't know why I almost opened it. But they didn't have the Marc Jacobs one that I had just gotten, and they didn't have the Chanel perfume, so I just got her the Pink Cloud, because I know it's good. Once I really just got back home, well, I just straightened up a little bit the house, because it was super messy, and I want to smell this live reaction with you. It is OUI Juicy Couture Rosy Darling, yeah, and I just thought it sounded really good, because I like them rosy scents, so I hope it's, like, strong. And you know I love anything Juicy Couture, but this bottle's pretty small. I think it was under 40 bucks. It was like 30 something. But look, it's still pretty cute with its little charm. And let's just see what it smells like. I hope it smells really good. Like, look at that. It's almost like a flower or something. I don't really smell it yet. Let's. Ooh, came out first. First spray. Okay, that smells good. Juicy has like a classic scent. Like I don't know what it is. Almost reminds me of like Viva La Juicy, but. Give me a second, give me a second. Mmm, definitely has like rosiness in it, like rose notes or whatever. It smells really good, I really like this. I just sprayed it like in my mouth, but I just wanna get a good spray on my PJ set, so I'm gonna be wearing this for the rest of the night, and I think it smells really cute, so I really like this. But Juicy Perfumes never disappoint me. I have yet to find one that I don't love. Now, of course, some are better than others, but this one's pretty up there. This one's pretty good. Obviously, I feel like time will tell. So, like, the more I wear stuff, the more I've, like, smelled it on different days, the more I'll decide if I love it, like, if it's a favorite. But I I really do like it. Pretty girly. I chilled for a while editing TikToks, and I want to show you this little crack in my bathtub before we're going to go to Home Depot and see if I can find... My mom said I need, like, epoxy bathtub repair kit, something like that, to try to fix it but let me just show you the little crack i'm talking about it has some rags in there because i was trying to like cover it but you see there's a little crack right there ignore how gross it looks like i need to deep clean my bathroom but that can't be good like i don't want water getting in that or nothing so this bathroom is one of the rooms this bathroom in the laundry room i never remodeled or like painted the walls whereas every other bathroom i did but now that I have a lot more free time, I definitely am going to be doing that. But I just need to get like my clothes back on and the Home Depot, I looked it up, it just says nine minutes, there should be no traffic. 
to at least get there. And I'm just going to see if they have that kit so I can try to like do something tonight. Where's the good lighting at? <laughs> So I could try to do something tonight because I'm scared of like the water going through that. I hope it's not like ruining nothing underneath. I just noticed it whenever I was shaving my legs this morning. I don't know when it happened though. I just got to Home Depot. I want to put on some lip gloss because you never know what if like the love of my life is in here. Where's my lip gloss at? I want to show you the gloss I've been using. I had gotten it in my last video in the P.O. box. Oh, a car came up from me. Thank you for the lighting. Now she's getting to see the haul. It's this brand, Jean Loose Co. Yeah, I'll just give her the whole view. But this was that color changing one. I think I tried it on in the last video. But I also tried on some of those darker shades, like kind of the pink ones, and they look really cute. And I love these glosses. At least it's a woman with like a kid. She just also like stared at me, but at least it's not like a guy. I hate guys. Looks cute. Let's go ask if, um, I'm just gonna ask an employee. I need a bathtub epoxy repair kit. <laughs> well, I didn't find it in there. Oh, I almost backed into an older person. But, um, I'm just gonna go to Menards real quick. That guy had a Tesla. He pulled up to me in a Tesla and I just watched that movie. You know, from the last vlog, Leaving the World Behind. So I was like, ooh, spooky. Put up to me in a Tesla. But, um, I'm going to Menards for, like, only the second time ever. I've been there once. I don't even think I bought anything. Like, I just went there with a friend. But I'm going there to see if they have a bathtub repair kit. Hopefully they do. I saw online that they have one, so hopefully they have one in stores. I couldn't tell, like, if it was in stock or not. But I'm just gonna go there real fast. But I also texted my mom's ex-boyfriend because he's like the um, maintenance guy at the trailer park. And I asked if he had anything or what should I do to repair it or like just to let him know because I don't want it ruining nothing underneath. Oh heck yeah. Oh, there's like a Tark bus stopping right here. It's stopping just perfectly for me to get on out of here onto this road. All right, now let's, I'll, um, I'll let you know after Menards if I found anything or not. Well, I found nothing, so I guess I'm not repairing this tub tonight. Look how pretty the lights are up there. I just wanted to go hang out with like all the lights up in Menards, but <laughs> now I'm just hungry. I'm ready to go home, I guess. But good news, maintenance guy, we're gonna call him maintenance guy. He said he can come over tomorrow and he's gonna put like a resin on it, so that works out just fine. I literally wasted a trip. I could have been home this whole time, but at least I was out looking cute. Who knows, maybe someone will message me later and be like, I saw you at Menards and you were so cute and I was so scared to approach you. I'm just kidding, I don't want a man that's scared to approach me. Also, this Chick-fil-A I've had for like over three hours, it's still ice, like that's crazy. The next day I am, or I actually just finished my Sunday reset video. My house is all clean looking, look at the kitty cat, but look what I'm doing right now. So I just finished this candle right here and it has that much wax so I'm actually doing a TikTok to like kind of just show you guys what I'm doing but I'm just going to take this hot water and I'm going to pour it in here the boiling hot water so that the wax comes to the top and I can break it and put it in my wax melter because this candle smells so good this is the crushed candy cane white barn I just wanted to check in and kind of show you what I was doing but here in just a second we're going to go and we're going to finish let me turn this way we're going to go and we're going to finish just um putting tissue paper and all the gifts for my mom's side of the family because all their gifts are ready. I just need to wrap a couple things and tissue paper a few things. The maintenance guy just came over and he fixed my bathtub. He said it, he said it will take like hours to dry so I won't be able to shower until tomorrow morning which is fine because I got my shower in this morning but I just thought this was a, a cool little thing. I've done this several times but I've never done it like for a camera so I just wanted to kind of show you all how to do it, but there's a lot of wax left in that, you know what I mean? Okay, I wanted to show this for YouTube and for TikTok, so I hope this angle is okay with you. You should see my TikTok, because the camera looks funny, but um, it's almost done boiling. It's like boiling really hard now. I'm giving it just another second, and I'm ready to dump it in. I just wanted you to be able to see it whenever it actually happens, same as like TikTok. Okay, I think we're ready for it. Let me get my TikTok ready. Turn off the stove. Oh yeah, water's boiling, boiling. Okay, 
I did it over the sink because I was scared of it um, spilling, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna let it sit for just a little bit. Here, let me get you closer now that I'm not so focused on the TikTok. Look how cool it's looking. So it just like, see the bubbles literally coming up? Those little yellow bubbles. So cool, ain't it? You can already see it's starting to get a little bit thick up top. I don't know how long it takes, but I'm going to let you know when it's done because I don't want to just sit here watching it. What's up, girly? Ignore my dryer. It, I'm sure it's pretty loud. I just, it is 3.48. I need to wrap a couple things really fast. So I got to be there by 5, so I got to leave about 4.30. So I'll just wrap a couple things real quick. And then we're going to tissue paper the rest of the stuff, but, um, where's the stuff I need to wrap at? Oh, it's in this bag. So this perfume, I mean, this cologne is for my sister's husband, so I'm going to wrap that real quick and write his name on it. I'm also going to throw, because I have a lot of these mascaras, and my mom said, like, she liked it, I think, or maybe she didn't. I just told her to like it, so... I'm throwing that in her bag real quick. Where's my scissors? Oh, they're up here. Uh, uh, I just posted my Sunday reset. I haven't even went to go check it, like how I did yet. I usually like to give it about like 10, 15 or so minutes before I go and check it. I call it letting it marinate because I don't know, whenever I was first starting off, I didn't like being on the app after I had posted it. I just felt like that was like bad luck. So I have this, I forgot to show you, I have this Hello Kitty wrapping paper, how cute. So yeah, the boys are getting that, I don't care. They're not gonna care either. They're just gonna be appreciative. There's some hair on that piece, so I will not be using this piece, but I'm really excited and hopefully I get something cute so I can do a little haul for you guys. I remember last year I got lots of cute stuff, so. Dang, this wrapping paper is cheap. It just like tore as I was trying to fold it. I think I found it at like five below. Go ahead and block out the name, but it's so cute. I just need to wrap this because everything else is in gift bags. I really don't want to do a lot of wrapping, but this is a hundred dollar gift card and um, just a little speaker I had gotten from like a random brand a long time ago. Whenever I was new on TikTok, They'd be like, can we send you something? And I didn't really care what it was. I was just like, oh yeah. Then I got more like, obviously I wasn't gonna accept a gifted collab unless it was something I really want. So I don't accept like just gifts in exchange for a video unless it's something I really want. So I've only recently done that with jewelry. I don't really do it with nothing else, but like I did that with this necklace. But I just show it like real quick on TikTok. Like it's not like a whole dedicated video not like one of those videos you get paid for like I have like Timu videos wrapping is so much fun next year whenever I have a lot more free time I will wrap the gifts because usually every year I do wrap the gifts even if I put it in the gift bag I will like literally wrap every individual gift just because it's so much fun like unwrapping presents for me so cute now I'm gonna write his name on it let me show you them real fast here's all the gift bags this is for my brother this is for my aunt for my niece for my other niece for my nephew for my sister, for my other sister, for my mom. That's all I bought presents for. And then my online friends got like their boxes. That's what these boxes over here are. But I have just some of this tissue paper right here I'm probably gonna use. Like silver and white paper. Left over from whenever I, these are from my kids gifts at work. I had used this paper. I'm just gonna use it to kind of like cover it. Oh, I need to write names on them, of course. That don't really cover nothing. Hang on. Let's do like the white one in there and then a silver one in this one. Oh my gosh. Opening presents is so fun. I'm also hungry, so I hope there's like food. Okay, wait, let me start writing names on these before I forget. I'm going to show you what they look like. They're very much like, not the prettiest, especially the silver ones are like so ugly to me. 
But like, that looks cute, I guess. I'm gonna take them all to my car, but I have about 30 minutes. I can sit for just a second. Also, this is just now starting to get hard, but I think it's still not ready yet. So I'm probably gonna leave it here until I get back. What's up, girl? I'm headed to my mom's house. I got all the gifts loaded in the trunk and I'm just really excited. I'm also really excited to eat because I haven't ate much all day. I'm excited to go back home too because I'm just gonna play like some Minecraft tonight. I think I mentioned it before, I've been playing Minecraft lately, it's so fun. I wish I could just record like Minecraft content sometimes. When I was younger, I did that. I posted actually on this channel, this private and Minecraft videos and other videos. I've always tried to post. Like, I always wanted to be a YouTuber or something. But I'm gonna focus on my driving and I'll probably see you after or something. What's up, girl? I just got home and something really scary just happened. As I was driving home, I was driving like these back roads in like this neighborhood type area. Let me sit down. There was a truck and he passed me up. And when he passed me up, it wasn't, it was on like a super narrow road. Like the lines on the road, like you were not allowed to pass up someone. And he passed me up and it made me get like really far over, like almost shoving me off the side of the road. And so, of course, I like slammed on my horn and. Then we got stopped at like a couple red lights and stuff and every time I was stopped right behind him. So you could tell he was mad that I was like pretty much right behind him the whole time even though he whipped it around me and I slammed on my horn. I slammed it on like two times for like a long ass minute. And so then eventually we were going down this long narrow road and there was a car in front of him. So there was a car in front of him, then there was him, then there was me and I wasn't like riding his ass or nothing. But I was behind him and he started to get behind me. And so then he started to follow me, and so that was really scary. So I literally hit like 100 miles per hour getting away from him, and then turned, like not to get into my neighborhood, but kind of to go to that area. And he had started to turn too, and I was about to just call the cops and drive to the police station, because I was like, what the, like this guy just took his road rage to another level, like me slamming on my horn should not equal to you following me in your car. And so... Then he didn't turn, he just kept going straight and I kept like looking behind me the entire time before I pulled into my neighborhood. Like I made sure I did like a little loop before I pulled into the neighborhood just to make sure he like didn't see me or nothing but that was really scary, like really really scary for no reason. And now I'm like great because I slammed my horn at him, like that's terrifying. But I'm going to do my Christmas haul tomorrow because we'll be going to my um I got so many good gifts, like so many good gifts from my mom's house. But I'll be going to my stepmom, so I don't know if I'll get anything from there or not. just kind of want to do it whenever I'm in a better mood and it's like daylight, so I'll show you everything then. But I got some really cute stuff to show you. What's up, girly? It's the next morning and it's Christmas morning, so Merry Christmas if that's what you celebrate, but Happy Holidays if you don't. I'm ready to go to my stepmom's house and she didn't tell me who was all going to be there, but I assume it's my stepsister, niece, nephew. And then probably my stepsister's husband or boyfriend or whatever. It's kind of funny because like my stepmom's not even really my stepmom anymore. So like I'm celebrating Christmas morning with a family that's not like my blood family. But it is like the family that I grew up with. So they're still family. What's up girly? I just got home from my stepmom's and that was really fun. So we didn't do like gift exchange. It was just like breakfast. The food was really good. I stayed for a little over three hours. So I stayed for like a long time. And I just did my little Christmas haul for TikTok. I'm about to go edit and post it. But now I'm ready to show it to you. I feel like I definitely got a lot more last year than I did this year. But I just can't like be with my dad right now for reasons I don't want to talk about. From my mom, she got me this Michael Kors purse, which is so cute. It has this little like lock right here. And I've never had a purse that has a little key like this. Like apparently this is popular with Michael Kors purses. But I've never had one that had this. It's hard for me to do with one hand. See how cute that is? So, I literally love this. My mom got me a cute Michael Kors purse last year, and I'm so happy she got me another one. I'll definitely be using this all the time. And let me show you the inside, just in case you're curious. Like, I didn't show TikTok the inside. They just got to see the outside, but it's really cute. It ha also has another strap, and there's the tag for it. I wonder how much it is. There's no way. I don't know. It's a really nice purse though, so I'll definitely be using it. And she also got me this Hello Kitty lava lamp, which is so cute. I don't think I ever saw this in Walmart, but I knew it was at Walmart. She got me this, which I'll... Hang on, let, we'll plug it in just a second, because I showed TikTok, but it's so cute and it's lit up. I gotta get that annoying sticker off. I have like that Goo Gone stuff. But um, this is for my sister, 
my oldest sister got me this candle, got me this spray, which I actually already have both of these things, but that's okay because I love this scent, so I will definitely like use it all. And then she got me this, the body lotion, which I didn't have, so that's really nice. Oh yeah, and then my grandpa, he made this, so it's like a piece of real wood, and that's a picture of me when I was younger. Look how cute I was. I wish I remembered what that cat's name was. But, um, like, the wood is so real that, like, I'm scared I'm going to get a splinter every time I pick it up. But it's got, like, this thing on the back so you can even hang it up. But I just thought it was so cute. And the last thing I got was from my mom. It was the Paris Hilton cookware set. So it came with two pots and two pans. And this lid fits for that pan, too. So it's kind of, like, universal. But they're so nice. I'm literally going to be throwing away. I mean, not throwing away. I'm going to, like, donate these ones right here. Because this is all I need. Maybe I'll keep it for just a little bit, just to make sure these are good and worth it. But it also came with these things. These you just like lay on your counter and then you can put the pot on it so it's not like straight burning your countertops, which is good because my countertops are wrapped. Like the closer you look, the, the more you can tell. I need to go ahead and end this vlog here so I can post it tonight. I want to post it tonight so I can be like, Merry Christmas girlies, here's my gift to you, a YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching this whole video and... Oh my gosh, please, I don't know. I don't want to talk about the whole fact that I left my job. Like, even today, whenever I was at my stepmom's breakfast, I was just, like, acting like I didn't quit because, I don't know. I don't want people to not understand, and it's a really confusing chapter I'm going through right now, and we're barely just now starting it, so I want to get this vlog posted so I can start a new one, just so I can start, like, doing more vlogs back to back every single day. But I hope you guys understand. I hope you're gonna stick with me through no matter what happens. Love you so much. Please leave a like and please leave a comment and please ring the notification bell so you don't miss my videos and we can always be connected and together. Follow me on all my other social medias too. Let me know what you guys wanna see with all the new free time I'll be getting. Like I wanna take walks in parks. I wanna like maybe go to restaurants or like just travel a little bit more, like do fun stuff. I'm like cringing cause I'm like scared, but I'm also so excited. So just please stick with me and I will see you in the next vlog. Please do all those things I told you to do. Like the video, comment, notification bell. Bye girly. Wait, come back. I forgot to show you this and I know you was already about to leave a comment saying that I forgot to show you this. Let me turn it on. And here's what it looks like. Literally, how fancy is that? Oh my gosh, I love that. I'm probably going to for sure put this, like, in my living room. Somewhere that you see it when you first walk in. But let me show you the pink mode. Pink mode! That's what I'm talking about. Like, even all the other colors are so cute. Like, blue. I really like that kind of blue. Ooh, I like that one, too. All the blues. I used to like blue a lot before I liked pink, but... I just was starting to put stuff away and I was like, wait, I just ended that video and I forgot to show you. So I felt like I had to show you. But now I'm saying bye for real. So bye girly.